What's up, guys? It's Geo back again for uh, week three of our Push to 1500 uh, series. We're in the OU tier. Last week, we saw the epitome of struggle and an example of a team that really has shifted in effectiveness since I first tried it out. You know, it was. I, I'm sure you guys have all experienced this. Like, it's one of those teams that you throw out there and you get really used to playing. And when you're used to playing it for like a week straight, you are really good with it. And and then like the meta has like a sw a slight tweak to fix some other problem that they're having. And then all of a sudden your team is just dead in the water. And my friends, that that hit me right in the face last week. So um, I actually uh, went back to the drawing board, decided not to do a, my dual bird team, and have and decided to build an all new team. Um, so before we jump into looking at that team, let's check out our ranking. Our ranking is at uh, thirteen twenty one with a win loss of twenty to nine. Um, I did finish off at thirteen hundred after the bonus session. But I accidentally forgot to change my nickname when trying out this team, so we actually have picked up one win with this already. Um, so let's jump straight into the team preview, or team builder. All right, first we have Venusaur. Venusaur is my god. Venusaur is amazing. Uh, Venusaur is actually not the first core that I tried to add to this team, but it was the first core that I ever came up with with Heatran. Um, I'm using... a kind of funky set, I guess. It's um, Giga Drain Synthesis Sludge Bomb and Leech Seed uh, Sludge Bomb helps me with fairies, which my team otherwise kind of struggles with as uh, Keldeo, Latias, and Salamence are weak to it. Uh, Leech Seed just helps for uh, chip damage on stuff like Chansey and Blissey. And uh, the EV spread is a mixed wall set uh, where I have 200 EVs in both defense and special defense. Uh, running a bold nature and 108 EVs in defense or uh, HP. Uh, Heatran forms the second part of the core of Mega Venusaur, and uh, the Heatran uh, Venusaur core is actually my favorite core that I've ever come up with on the defensive side, because the two things that Venusaur is weak to: flying and psychic, both resisted by Heatran. Heatran is weak to uh, water, uh, fighting, and ground. Uh, Mega Venusaur resists two of those, and I can add like something like a Rotom Wash or a Landorus to remove the weakness of ground with an immunity. But this is just a standard special defense uh, Heatran. Uh, Lava Plume, Willow Wisp, Stealth Rocks, and Roar for dealing with uh, Baton Pass teams if they are unsuspecting of uh, Heatran carrying Roar. Uh, now Keldeo, uh, this is kind of a standard, a very, very standard Specs Keldeo set, to where it's just 252 of these in special attack, 252 in uh, speed, uh, Surf, Secret Sword, Icy Wind, and Hidden Power Flying for Mega Venusaur. Uh, other than that, there's not a whole lot to go over on this set, although Keldeo is part of my offensive core on this team with Bisharp. Um, the reason I like this core is that it resists 14 types in the metagame. Uh, only not resisting a uh, ground fairy oh let's see if i can remember these um ground fairy i can't remember the other two uh oh, whatever um but they also hit on either side of the spectrum so stuff that uh keldeo has a hard time dealing with such as like lottie twins is easily smashed by bisharp and uh, stuff that Bisharp has a hard time dealing with, such as like Ferrothorn, can be beat by Keldeo with Spec Secret Sword. Now, uh, Bisharp is also a very standard set. It has black glasses, because anything wearing shades is automatically like 10 times cooler. Um, I'm running, I guess, Dual Stab, but I have three Dark Moves and Sucker Punch Knockoff and Pursuit for Trapping the Wadi Twins, and also carry Iron Head for Standard Stab and Fairy Check. Now, uh, this is a set that I built on my own. It's a kind of bulky attacking Latias set um, with Psy Shock, Hidden Power Fire, Defog, and Dragon Pulse. Now, let me see if I can remember like the reason that I built the spread this way. All right, so it's uh, running Modest Nature as opposed to Timid, and it's running Max HP as opposed to Max Speed. Uh, the reason I did this is because this means that uh, any of Greninja's super effective moves against Latias are two-hit KO rather than a one-hit KO. Uh, and the 96 special defense EVs help that out as well. Uh, 160 in special attack 
allows me to uh, two hit KO um, sixty HP or sixty defense two fifty two HP uh, Mega Venusaurs with Psy Shock. Uh, the reason this is important is because there's this team floating around that originated from a guy named TFL, and he runs this really annoying stall team that's really hard to break, and this helps immensely in breaking any sort of stall team involving Mega Venusaur, because most Mega Venusaurs run that set, coupled with uh, Chansey and uh, Skarmory. So, HP Fire does serious damage to Skarmory, is a solid 2-hit KO there, uh, is like a 2-hit KO on Chansey and a 2-hit KO on uh, Mega Venusaur, so it takes out like that half of the core, which uh, really helps me to beat stall, uh, main stall breaker. And then I have my Choice Scarf Salamence, which is the revenge killer on the team, and it's probably the most clutch member on my team, just because I needed help with either one of the Zards. Um, so Choice Scarf Moxie allows me to take out uh, Zard Y with Rock Slide, Zard X with Earthquake, take out uh, Ferrothorn and Scissor uh, with Flamethrower, if Heatran is gone, and also Outrage for Primary Stab, and because cleaning up game, cleaning up teams with uh, Choice Scarf, uh, Moxie Outrage is kind of fun. So, uh, overall this team is just basically two cool cores smashed together, one defensive core in, in Mega Venusaur and Heatran, and one offensive core in Keldeo and Bisharp, with Latias kind of holding the team together, and Salamence as a revenge killer. So, uh... Again, we're going to try to push for 1,500 this week. I do think we can get there this week, but let's hop into our first battle. Hopefully, I don't get one of those uh, socket hang-up errors. I know Shodown was having that problem earlier, but we do not. Uh, this is a very threatening hyper-offense team, which looks to be a little bit more bulky than most hyper-offense teams. Uh, probably Belly Drum, Azumarill, uh, uh, T-Wave, Thunderous, uh... Spinning Excadrill. Oh, good luck, have fun as well. All right. Um, special Sweeper, Latias, Hazard Setter, uh, Deoxys, and Mega Pinsir. Uh, I am going to lead with Bisharp, predicting the Deoxys defense lead. Show it to me. Yeah. All right, knock off. Um, he's going to taunt. I have no problem with that because I'm going to bring him down to the point where I can remove his... Red card and go for Pursuit if he does want to switch. He's not going to do that. I take the early 5-6 lead, taking out the Suicide lead, Deoxys. Sweet. Um, what I'm fearing here is his Mega Pinsir coming in. Because if his Mega Pinsir comes in, I don't really have a lot for it. I do have two Flying Weaknesses backed up by two Flying Resistances. But my two Flying Resistances both fall in the face of Mega Pinsir. So I'm actually going to go for the Sucker Punch right now. Actually, am I safe to do that? Yeah, because the only reason I'm staying in here with Pinsir and uh, getting off chip damage with Sucker Punch is because I know for a fact that Salamence can come in later and uh, take out the Latias if it comes down to that. So uh, he is going to Mega Evolve. I am going to go for the Sucker Punch. As he decides to set up in my face, this is not good. Uh, no bueno. I'm going to Sucker Punch again. Please don't Swords Dance. Am I going to get swept in the first battle of this week? Uh, he goes for the quick attack. All right. Seeing how much that's doing, I'm just going to go for the knockoff now. As he goes for the earthquake, he's in my head, guys. Um, I don't run air balloon on Heatran for, like, the first time ever. But I'm going to go out at a Latias, hoping that it has enough bulk to take a quick attack. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and go for the HP fire. That is... Hold on. Let's think about this. So HP Fire uh, doubles to 120 after super effective. Dragon Pulse um, goes to one 122.5, so 122 after uh, stab. So I'm just going to go for Dragon Pulse. Hopefully I have enough bulk to live it. Uh, if he does switch out, then I have been blessed. But at this point, he can probably just clean up with uh, Return and Quick Attack, because that's this thing sweeps my team. I have a huge weakness to, to this, and it is not good whatsoever. Um, how have you guys been doing? I don't think I've ever asked that before. Um, 
How have you guys been doing? Uh, what did you guys do for Memorial Day week weekend? I know that was a while ago. He is going to go for the frustration. Crap, I lost. <laughs> um, but uh, what did you guys do for Memorial Day weekend? I just kind of uh, stayed around the house. I built, I team built a lot with pool and whatnot. But, yeah. Um, speaking of team building, I've been in kind of a team building frenzy lately. I live... <laughs> I lived! Based Salamence! Alright, and my cord to my mic just flew over my mic. I'm sure that made just a terrible, nasty sound. But <laughs> Salamence coming through in the clutch. I can't get rid of Hazard, so I have no reason to switch out. Although, his what he's going to do is just go out to Azumarill and revenge me with uh, Aqua Jet. <laughs> he's like, why did that not take you out? Too bulky, five you. Too bulky. But at this point, I still don't think I can win the match. Um, the thunderous is gonna cause problems if it carries psychic. But if it carries psychic, it's not carrying focus blast or HP fire. I don't know. I'm just gonna go for the scarf rock slide. If he decides to just try to attack, then I just racked up another kill. Presuming the rock slide hit. Please hit rock slide. Um, but, yeah, this is kind of why I put Salamence on the team, because Salamence is amazing. Salamence is love. Salamence is life. Getting another kill. Uh, now I'm at plus two, and this is why I run Moxie over Intimidate, because a lot of times uh, teams will just keep a physical wall in the back. And, for example, on this team, um, if he doesn't go for... Yeah, he goes for Aqua Jet. All right. Anyway. Uh, I'm going to bring in Megasaur, the Universal Azumarill Cat, and uh, then double out to Heatran, uh, predicting the Latias to come back in, or come on in. Yes, you calced it, and I can live. Oh, wow, I got played right there. This is bad. All right, I'm going to go back in. I'm going to go into Keldeo. He goes for the Earthquake, and that does a lot. That does a lot. <laughs> I'm just going to lock myself in on Surf. Oh, he's Scarf. He's Scarfed. Well, you know, I was kind of doomed from the start. I didn't play very well with that Mega Pinsir. Should have known he was going to do his setup shenanigans. But I did not. I'm just going to try to stall him out of some stuff here by continuing to spam either Giga Drain or Synthesis until I do end up going down. He is just going to cut to the chase and go to Latias. Um, probably has Surf because most Latias carry Surf, so they don't get walled by Heatran. He does go for Psyshock. Not a problem for me. Um, I'm going to Lava Plume. Predicting him. Yeah! Burn! Burn! Give me the burn! No, no burn. Alright, I am actually going to go for the Willow right here. Actually, no, that's a dumb move. No, don't go through Showdown. Alright, because I know Venus... Actually, hold on. I'm going to predict him to double out into Excadrill. I gave Showdown three different moves. I'm wondering which one it's going to go to. Because the chat is not moving right now. Okay, it is going to, it is going to go to the Venusaur one. He is going to set up Belly Drum and Vice as I do go for the Giga Drain. Uh, I think I can knock him out here. Yeah, <laughs> sweet. Uh, that's one more threat gone. So if I play it right, I may be able to pull it off. I don't know. Maybe. Do I, does he have any reason to switch? Yeah, he, so he didn't go for Surf last time, meaning either, oh no, he's Life Orb. All right, I was going to say he might be Specs, but it doesn't look like it. Um, I'm trying to think right now. This guy's made a lot of predictions so far. I think I'm going to risk it for the Biscuits and go for Giga Drain, trying to take out Excadrill. Yes! Oh my lord. I'm. Did we just clutch that? We may have just clutched that. He goes for Iron Head. Don't flinch me. No, sir. All right. Not bad. So I think we're gonna be able to get enough damage off uh, with uh, Leech Seed plus Life Orb that uh, we're gonna be able to clutch this battle out with Heatran. Heatran, come through. All right. So that did a lot from Life Orb Latias. I did not expect it to do that much. Um, I am gonna go back out into Heatran in an effort to uh, continue to PP. Or not PP stall, but a Life Orb plus Leech Seed stall. 
as I am going to be getting back 18% per turn due to uh, Leech Seed plus lefties, and I don't think he can touch me. So I'm just going to stack the Willow on him, meaning that it's going to be 9% from Life Orb, 12% from Leech Seed, and 12% from Burn. So for those of you keeping score at home, that's 33% per turn, as I am able to easily live the Draco Meteor. And, um... Oh, I missed the Willow. All right. That's fine. Okay, he is going to forfeit, recognizing he can't do anything here. That puts our rating at 1342. We're going to do one more battle here, um, and then we're going to call it an episode. But, all right, this guy actually does have a pretty good team. Probably lead Greninja with Life Orb. Uh, weakness Policy Dragonite. He has a nice Dragon Steel Fairy Core uh, with that um, nice Mega Mawile. Uh, f physically Defensive Ferrothorn. Uh, physically Defensive Togekiss. Or no, physically defensive Chansey and just annoy or Togekiss. I am gonna leave with Salamence. Uh, because it pretty much counters whatever he wants to lead with, except for this. I am gonna go out into Mega Venusaur, predicting the toxic. Show me the toxic. Yes, sir! Alright. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and set up a lead seed. Um I could go straight back out into Salamence predicting Ferrothorn. Because Ferrothorn does beat this build of Mega Venusaur one-on-one. -on -one. In fact, I'm going to change that. Oh no, he brings in Dragonite. Not bad! Um, because with this build of Mega Venusaur, I can't really touch Ferrothorn. Because I can't Leech Seed it. And he can just sit here and spam Gyro Ball and set up Hazards for as long as he wants. So I'm just going to go for the Sludge Bomb. As here comes Togekiss! I wasn't even trying to predict that, but I get the poison. Not bad. So I'm going to be able to knock him out after uh, one turn of... Or one more turn of Sludge Bomb. So, um, but he's probably going to go for the Air Slash here to try to get some damage off on Venusaur and try to flinch me. So I'm just going to go back out... Or I'm going to go out in a Heat Train here as he ends up going for the Roost. Uh, I know these things love to pack Aura Sphere, but I know I can take at least three. Or, I know it's a three-hit KO, uh, but he's just going to go for the T-Wave. Wonderful, as I get up my rocks. All right, so I know the Air Slash is coming. Um, data, Togekiss, Data, Bisharp. All right, I was just checking there to see if Bisharp was going to outspeed, but it is not going to. I'm trying to find something that's going to come in on... A air slash, an air slash. I think I'm just gonna roar him out, try to deal with this thing later. Not bad. That's a Greninja. <laughs> that was not what I wanted to see. But I'm just gonna bring out Keldeo, because I know that I can hit him hard with whatever, with whatever specs hit I end up wanting, wanting to go for. I am gonna scout for the extra sensor here by going out into Buy Sharp. Uh, yes, there's the extra sensory. I am going to go for the Pursuit, Pursuit, Sucker Punch, Pursuit. Alright, so, I have two options. I can either A, go for Sucker Punch and hope he goes for U-Turn, hereby knocking him out and removing his Greninja from the match, or predict him to hard switch out, go for the Pursuit, hit him on the way out, and knock him out. Um, if I mess up on Sucker Punch, then he gets a free switch, if I mess up on Pursuit, then I just have damage on Bi Sharp. I am going to go for the Pursuit here. As I do end up getting the Pursuit right, um, it, it was the better play because if he got U-turn damage off on Bi Sharp, you know, I can live with that. Uh, I'm going to go out in a Latias here to hit him with the HP Fire. Uh, as he ends up going for the Leech Seed, which is just really annoying. Predicting the Protect, I'm going to go into Salamence right here. I know Salamence can do some serious damage with a Flamethrower. Salamence does major work to this dude's team. Because if I can weaken Ferrothorn and weaken Chansey, then he's going to have a bad time. Anyway, what am I going to do here? I think I'm going to go out into Venusaur to try to eat up another Toxic. This dude does have a very potent offensive core and a very potent defensive core as well. Because uh, Chansey Ferrothorn is probably... As good and or better than Skarm Bliss right now. Just because of its ability to mess with a lot of Azumarils. 
because Chansey baits a zoomer all out and whatnot, but we're not going to talk about that right now. I'm going to go straight back out into Salamence predicting Ferrothorn. Show me Ferrothorn. Uh, Togekiss. What do I have for this? Uh, I'm actually going to calc this. Show me the calc. Um, Salamence versus Togekiss. Change Outrage for Rock Slide. Rock Slide does like 50%. Is it worth it? How much is his Dazzling Gleam going to do to me? Dazzling, Dazzling Gleam is not going to be very friendly. Rock Slide does have a chance to miss. So I just am going to go back out in the Heatran right here. And hope that he doesn't do anything terrible. Already, already paralyzed. Alright. Um... What is he going to do to me? So he has Roost, Thunder Wave. Roost, Thunder Wave, Defog. So he only has one attacking move. What's his only attacking move? Am I safe to come out with Bisharp? He hasn't gone for... a Aura Sphere yet. So let me just get on my rocks again. See if I can bait him into going for an actual attacking move. Alright, it is Air Slash. Not bad. Not bad. So, what I'm going to try to do here is get him to... or I'm going to try to get my rocks up, then have him defog, bring in Bisharp. Now, my Bisharp's going to threaten him out, so I'm going to go into Salamence as he goes into Ferrothorn, and then I'm going to go for Outrage, predicting... Um, Chansey. I know that's like seven turns from now, but if I can actually pull this off, I'm going to be fairly happy with myself. Lag check. Alright, here's Chansey as I get parried. Wonderful. Just going to get my rocks up. He goes for aromatherapy. Alrighty. Please bring in Dragonite. Please bring in Dragonite. Oh, he's just going to S-toss. Well... Let's see. What are my options here? I can go into Keldeo on the S-Toss and get some nice damage off on whatever he wants to bring in. Predicting the Secret Sword. Is that my best play? Might be my best play. If not, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, so there's the S-Toss. Now I'm going to go for the Surf. Predicting him to switch... Actually, no. It's not... A uh, secret sword hits enough of his team for good damage. Actually, please, Showdown, tell me... Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Um, probably should have seen through that one, but I didn't. You know, it's whatever. Whatever. So I'm going to go out into buy sharp as he just goes for the roost, because annoying Togekiss is annoying. I'm going to hit him with Pursuit on the way out. Oh, never mind. Uh, he's going to T-Wave me. So what's fine with the T-Wave? Heatran's fine with the team with the T-Wave. This, this is going to be a really long battle. I might end up just making this part two because this battle is already 22 turns long and it's 5-6. So I'm just going to go... F go. <laughs> long battle means my narration starts getting bad. Um, I'm just going to go for the Lava Plume and Fish for Burns on whatever he wants to do. Burn! Aw. Oh. I haven't been getting a lot of Scald slash Lava Plume burns lately. But that's probably because when I was laddering on another account, testing... What team was I testing? Uh, this... Keldeo Sharp team? I got like three Heat Wave burns with Zapdos in the same battle. And then I went on tilt for 200 points, which was just terrible. Why, why are you bringing this in? I get Chansey has... Oh, he's Focus Punch. Willow. Willow's not going to help me whatsoever. Oh, yes, it does. Clutch. Um, going to bring in Salamence here. And force him to... Force him to go out into Chansey. Is that what I'm going to do? I think that's what I'm going to do. Wow. 
Not sure if the crit mattered. Um, I'm gonna calc it. Just because I'm curious. Mega Mawile at minus two because of the burn. Versus a Salamence. Oh no. I was toast either way. Well, that worked. Like a charm. I'm gonna go out of Keldeo now. I'm gonna lag check again. And I'm gonna go for the secret sword this time. Yeah, Secret Sword is enough to take it out. Meaning that uh, his chance he's not going to want to come in right now. Togekiss will. Uh, so I'm just going to go out and I'm going to sack Heatran. For the purposes of getting a relatively free switch uh, into Latias. Because Latias is probably my best chance of winning the game right here. Because it hits Ferrothorn hard, hits this thing relatively hard, because it doesn't have Dazzling Gleam, and it hits Chansey. Uh, I'm gonna Willow. Trying to get some residual damage. Don't flinch! Alright, whatever. It's good. I have, like, one more shot, depending on rolls, because that one did 10.1%, and the other one did 9.1%. So, Willow! Willow away, my friend! And I get flinched again. This is why no one likes Togekiss, people. Um, actually, I'm gonna close the chat. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Um, <laughs> that was really bad. So we're going to go into Bisharp, and we're going to Iron Head you, because Bisharp isn't going to do that much other work this battle. Hate to admit it, but Bisharp is not is not putting in the same amounts of work. As, of course, now he chooses to switch into this stupid thing. Alright, I'm going to go out on a Venusaur, predicting the Leaf Seed. Oh, man. This dude just is not... He's not going to lead seed right now, because Venusaur's in. But this dude is just not giving me any leeway right now. Holy moly. Ugh, I think I lost this battle. This was a really long battle. How much HP do I have left? I have 139, meaning... Actually, 161 after lefties. So we're going to test out how powerful this... That size shock did nothing. Holy moly. Alright, I have 83... It's my best shot here. Um, can I win without this thing? Yes. In a defog, get the rocks off either side of the field as he kills me with Estos. Alright, well. Keldeo saved me. Alright, if I mess up this prediction, then I think I lose the game. I'm going for Surf predicting Togekiss. Show me the Togekiss. Sweet. Alright, now I can just safely go for Surf again and get off damage on whatever he wants to bring in. If he wants to sack Togekiss, I'm fine with it. Please sack Togekiss. Although I doubt he will. But now I'm down to my Keldeo Sharp Core and uh, Mega Venusaur. So he's going to bring this thing in, which is a problem. Hey, that's a problem. As I don't see lefties. And I'm going to eat that hit up. For breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Um, this... Oh, I missed. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna lead see it as he crit dragon claws me. Come on, I just can't get a break. I'm gonna go into buy sharp. Don't kill me. Alright, his best play right here is EQ. So I'm gonna suck a punch. As he just goes back out in Pharaoh. That's fine by me. So I believe I can come back in on this thing and safely synthesis. Safely synthesis. Synthesis. Give me health. Um, His best switch for this is definitely Togekiss, and it's coming out right now. That's fine, though. I'm at a great amount of health. I'm going to go back into Bi Sharp, as he's going to roost. Alright, so now uh, Stealth Rex damage is going to start playing a big part in this battle. Because if 
I go out in the Keldeo and he stays in, I lose. But if I hit him with the Iron Head, I win. Because I think it knocks him out. But I'm going to go into Keldeo, predicting him to go out into Ferrothorn to try to play safe with his 4-3 lead. And I can't see the chat right now, so I don't know what's going on. Let me join chat. Lobby! Alright. Lag check. As we do hit the big 50. Big 50 turns. This has this has been a really stally battle. He has a very bulky team. Uh, I do have a very bulky team as well. I have Latias, Megasaur, Keldeo, and Bisharp aren't really that bulky. Sweet! He switched. Uh, now I can smack this thing with a secret sword. Please stay in predict predicting me to go for Surf. Gosh dang it. Gosh dang it. I'm going to go into buy sharp. So I'm now down to 55% health. He's going to go for the T-Wave. Let the paraflinching begin, says the evil toga kiss. I'm going to go for the Iron Head. I'm starting to play Reckless because I'm getting tired of this battle. Yeah! Able to hit him up with that. How much did that uh, Secret Sword do? Alright. So that did 14%. So I'm safe to stay in here and sack by Sharp. Sweet, as his Dragonite is gone. So his main offense his main three offensive threats right now are gone as uh now Ferrothorn remains. I am gonna go for the knockoff on this thing for a nice neutral hit. Is that's only doing four percent. Gimme that. I'm gonna take the Iron Bars damage, but he does lose his lefties, which is great. Is great. I'm gonna go for the pursuit on the off chance he decides to switch out. Um and I'm gonna knock myself out. There. Alright. Caldeo takes 12% from rocks, meaning that, wait, does Caldeo take 12% from rocks? Yeah, yeah, I think so. I think Caldeo takes 12% from rocks, meaning that I have two more switches with Caldeo. I can come in here and threaten him out. Actually, no. Do I win by spamming Secret Sword? I might. I might win by spamming Secret Sword here. There's Chansey. Chansey's gone to a spec secret sword. If for some reason he's running like max speed Togekiss, which I don't. Oh no, this is the problem. Um, have to sack Venusaur. If I get a leech seed up, that's gonna be wonderful. He is gonna roost. However, I do have Sludge Bomb. So as long as I don't die slash get flinched, then I think I might have this battle, this sixty turn or whatever battle. Hit him with the sludge bomb. Give me the poison. Uh, the poison would just, like, cap the battle. It would ensure my victory. Para. <laughs> As I angrily slap the chair. Don't flinch. Oh, man. This is really annoying. This is why I hate Togekiss. Togekiss needs to go to Ubers. No, just kidding. Togekiss isn't actually that good. It was a joke, guys. All right. I'm going to sit here, uh, go for the Icy Wind. Knock him out. No. Alright. Yeah, that was actually a really good match. I'm fine losing to him. That was vigorous. Vigorous stall. Um, anyways, I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Uh, make sure to, uh, like. That'd be wonderful. Leave a like. Um, uh, comment what you guys think about this team. Like, to me, this team looks really, really good on paper. It, it just doesn't always perform as well as it should against semi-stall like that was. Um, and uh, make sure to uh, subscribe if you guys are continuing the con continuing to enjoy the content after that long battle I'm all over the place. Uh, other than that, I'm out.